Ever wondered which is the most venomous snake in the world? Brace yourself because we're about to dive deep into the waters of the Pacific Ocean, where the infamous Belcher's Sea Snake resides. This slithering serpent named after Sir Edward Belcher, a British naval officer, is renowned for its venom potency, holding the title as the world's most venomous snake. Yet it's not all doom and gloom. Despite their formidable reputation, Belcher's sea snakes are not typically aggressive towards humans. In fact, they're relatively docile compared to their land-dwelling counterparts. It's a common misconception that these serpents pose a significant threat to us. Their venom might be potent, but they rarely choose to use it. So, beneath the waves in the coral reefs and seagrass of the Pacific, lives a creature that encapsulates the very essence of the ocean's mystery and allure. So, the world's most venomous snake might not be as deadly as you thought. Intrigued yet? Now let's dive deep into the life cycle of this fascinating creature. The story of the Belcher's sea snake, like any good tale, begins with a single, small, spherical egg. Hidden away in a protected crevice underwater, this egg harbors a life that will soon embark on an incredible journey. The mother sea snake will lay up to 20 eggs, each about half an inch in diameter. Inside each egg, the magic of life begins to unfold. As weeks turn into months, the tiny serpent within starts to form. This is the juvenile phase. Even at this early stage, the Belcher's sea snake showcases its unique characteristics. Its body, slender and only a few inches long, is already equipped with a fully functional venom delivery system. Even as a youngster, it's not a creature to be trifled with. The juvenile sea snake, despite its venomous bite, is vulnerable. Survival in the Great Blue is no small feat. It must learn to hunt, to hide, and most importantly, to avoid becoming someone else's dinner. As the months roll by, the juvenile gradually morphs into an adult. Its body lengthens, its color deepens, and its venom becomes more potent. The adult Belcher sea snake is a sight to behold. It can grow up to five feet long, its slender body adorned with a unique pattern of dark cross bands. Its venom, one of the most toxic in the world, is a testament to its survival in the harsh underwater world. While it may seem intimidating, the Belcher sea snake is typically shy and reclusive. It spends its days hidden away in coral reefs and seagrass, emerging only to hunt or to bask in the sun's rays. But don't let its passive demeanor fool you. When threatened, it's capable of delivering a bite that can prove fatal to most predators. From a tiny egg to a venomous serpent, the journey of the Belcher's sea snake is nothing short of remarkable. Ever wondered how a day in the life of a Belcher's sea snake looks like? Well, let's dive into the mysterious underwater world where these fascinating creatures reside. The Belcher's sea snake is not your typical snake. Living exclusively in the ocean, its day-to-day -day existence is a testament to the marvels of adaptation. With a slender body and paddle-like tail, this snake is a true marine creature, spending the majority of its time in the turquoise depths of the tropical ocean. Like many of us, the Belcher's sea snake starts its day with a hearty breakfast. But forget eggs and toast, its menu consists of small fish and eels. Hunting is a game of patience for this sea serpent. It slithers stealthily among the coral reefs, using its forked tongue to pick up chemical signals from potential prey. Once it identifies a meal, it strikes quickly, delivering a venomous bite to immobilize its target. Now you might wonder, how does this sea snake manage to stay underwater for such long periods? Well, the answer lies in its skin. Unlike other snakes, the Belcher's sea snake can absorb oxygen directly from the water through its skin, allowing it to stay submerged for hours at a time. This unique ability makes it a master of the underwater realm, able to explore and hunt in places other predators cannot reach. Food hunted and eaten, the Belcher's sea snake spends the rest of its day exploring its territory, avoiding predators, and occasionally surfacing for a gulp of air. It's a life of constant movement and vigilance, but one that this sea snake is perfectly adapted for. In the evening, as the sun sets and the ocean darkens, the Belcher's sea snake retreats to the safety of the coral reefs. There it rests, conserving energy for another day of hunting and exploration. Life underwater is not easy, but the Belcher's sea snake has adapted perfectly to its aquatic life. This remarkable creature shows us that with the right adaptations, life can thrive in even the most challenging of environments. The Belcher's Sea Snake A creature so venomous it can kill with a single bite. This sleek unassuming serpent harbors a deadly secret within its fangs, a venom 50 times more potent than that of a King Cobra. This venom isn't just a weapon, it's a tool, a key to survival in the challenging environment of the ocean depths. 
The Belcher's sea snake's venom is a cocktail of neurotoxins, myotoxins, and cytotoxins. These toxins work in unison, swiftly paralyzing prey, breaking down muscle tissue, and causing cell death. This lethal concoction ensures that once bitten, the prey has little chance of escape. It's a quick and efficient method of hunting, perfect for an environment where every second counts and energy conservation is crucial. But it's not just the potency of the venom that's remarkable. It's the way the Belcher's sea snake uses it. Unlike many of its land-based cousins, this sea serpent doesn't waste venom on threats or warning bites. Instead, it saves its precious toxin for when it's needed most, during the hunt. This selective use of venom is a fascinating adaptation to life in the ocean, where resources are scarce and must be used wisely. Now you might be thinking, a snake this venomous must pose a significant risk to humans. Surprisingly, encounters between humans and Belcher's sea snakes are rare, and bites are even rarer. The snake's natural habitat is deep in the ocean, far from human activity. And even when encounters do occur, this serpent is typically docile and less provoked or threatened. In the rare instances where bites have occurred, the snake often delivers a dry bite, a bite without venom. This is another testament to the snake's judicious use of its deadly toxin. It's almost as if the Belcher's sea snake understands the potency of its venom and uses it with respect and caution. Despite its deadly venom, the Belcher's sea snake poses little threat to humans due to its docile nature. So, while this serpent may be one of the ocean's deadliest predators, it's also a remarkable example of nature's balance between power and restraint. Why should we care about the existence of this sea serpent, you might ask? Well, the conservation status of the Belcher's sea snake and its significant role in the ecosystem is a topic that deserves our attention. Belcher's sea snake, also known as the Hydrophis belkeri, is not on the brink of extinction, but it is considered a species of least concern according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. This designation, however, doesn't mean we can rest easy. The health and survival of this species are still threatened by several factors. One of the main threats to these sea snakes is the degradation of their marine habitat. Coral reefs, mangroves, and other coastal ecosystems where these snakes thrive are being destroyed due to pollution, climate change, and human activities like overfishing and coastal development. As these habitats disappear, so does the Belcher's sea snake's primary source of food and shelter. Another significant concern is bycatch, where these snakes are accidentally caught in fishing nets. Although they are not the target of commercial fishing, they often end up as unintended victims. Since these snakes have a low reproductive rate, even a slight increase in mortality can have a significant impact on their population. So, what are we doing about it? Conservation efforts for the Belcher's sea snake are primarily focused on preserving their habitat. This involves implementing sustainable fishing practices, reducing pollution, and protecting marine areas. But why is the survival of this sea serpent so important? Belcher's sea snakes play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our oceanic ecosystem. As predators, they help control the population of their prey, contributing to a balanced and healthy marine environment. Additionally, their venom has potential medicinal value, which could lead to breakthroughs in medical science. Each species, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a part in the grand tapestry of life. The Belcher's sea snake is no exception. Its survival and well-being are intertwined with the health of our oceans and, ultimately, our planet. The survival of the Belcher's sea snake is crucial for maintaining the balance of our oceanic ecosystem. So, what have we learned about the world's most venomous snake? We've journeyed from the mysterious depths of the ocean to the birth of the Belcher's sea snake, a serpent born of sea and salt. We've peeked into its daily life, a dance of survival in the underwater world and discovered its habits that are as captivating as they are unique. We felt a shiver down our spines as we delved into the potency of its venom, a lethal cocktail that makes it a formidable predator beneath the waves. Yet despite its deadly nature, we've learned of its critical role in maintaining the delicate balance of our marine ecosystems. Lastly, we reflected on the snake's conservation status, understanding the importance of protecting this incredible species for future generations. The Belcher's sea snake, a fascinating creature of the deep, serves as a reminder of the diverse and complex life that exists beneath the sea surface.